Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Fellow. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will discuss one of the most important and newly introduced feature in LWC that is URL addressable target. Until now in LWC, if you want to navigate from one LWC component to another LWC component, then there was not a direct option. Let me show you in my org what I'm talking about so you can easily understand. For example, here on home page, we have a LWC component with a text box and button. Now upon clicking this button, let's say we want to open another LWC component here and also want to pass this username text box value. Like let's enter a sock here and click on navigate to LWC button. All right. Now we have been redirected on another LWC component and also we can see username value here, right? This demonstration is an example of navigation in a standard app. In Salesforce Lightning, you know, we have two types of apps, standard and console. So this is how navigation works in standard app. And if we talk about console app, then in sales console on account record page, I have added that same LWC component for demo purpose. And now once I'll click on this button, then another LWC component will open as a new tab like this. Okay. So this is a very common requirement. I mean, while working in real world applications, we often encounter such kind of scenarios where we have to open a LWC component on a button click or as a new tab. But in LWC, to achieve such kind of scenarios, there was not a direct way, though there were some alternatives. So by using them, you could redirect on another LWC component or you can open a LWC component in a separate tab. I created a video few months back there I have covered all those possible alternatives. So if you are interested in learning about them, then you can refer that video. Link is available in the description below. Okay. But now in summer 24 release, Salesforce has introduced a new feature, URL addressable target. URL addressable target enables LWC components to be directly called through the navigation mixing service or using a URL. So using this feature, we can easily navigate from one LWC component to another without needing additional aura component or using one app. I mean, this feature makes navigation much easier within LWC and now we can open LWC components by their names just because now we can refer them in the URL. All right. And now let's practically see how we can use this feature to navigate on another LWC component. So for that, now let's open our IDE that is VS code here in my project for demo purpose and to save videos time. I have already created two LWC components, navigation from and navigation to. And in navigation from component, I already created the same structure that we have in demo. I mean, here in HTML file, I already written HTML markup for that username text box and navigate to the LWC button and also added on click listener and assigned this handler method and also created this handler method here in JS file. As of now, this is a blank method, but here in few minutes, we will write code to redirect on navigation to component. Okay, and this navigation to component is completely blank as of now. All right, now here in this scenario, we want to redirect from navigation from component to navigation to component, right? So this navigation from component is called origin and this navigation to component is called target. I mean, here in this scenario, we have to make this navigation to component as a URL addressable because we will redirect from navigation from component to navigation to component, right? And now let's see how we can make a LWC component as URL addressable. So in order to make a LWC component as URL addressable, we have to make some changes in components meta config file. So let's open that and make required changes. Okay, here by default, this is exposed property will have false as value, but to make a component as a URL addressable, we have to set it as true. And also in targets node, we have to add this new target that is URL addressable. That's all. 
So to make a LWC component as URL addressable, we have to make two changes in meta config file. First we have to set is expose as true and then we have to add a URL addressable as target. Okay. And now let's see how to redirect on this component in standard apps. For console apps, we'll cover that later. And there are two ways we have to achieve this requirement. First is using the navigation mixing service and second by directly constructing a URL to navigate on that component. First, let's start with the navigation mixin. And for that, first let me write code, then we'll explain to you. Okay, so what I have done here, first I have imported this navigation mixing function from lightning navigation module, then added this function here. So this component can access navigation APIs and then in button click handler, this is how we have used navigation service, where in type, we have passed a standard component. Then in attributes object, we have added a component name property and passed C underscore underscore navigate to. Here, C is the namespace for custom components and navigate to is the component name. Okay. And if you want to pass some data from current component to another, then we have to pass under state object. So here we are passing username value. Here with key name as well, we have to write namespace underscore underscore then key name. If you don't have a registered namespace in your org, then default namespace will be C and this format is must to follow. So that's why here we have written C underscore underscore username. And this is how using wraps attribute, we are reading value from text box. If you don't know what this wraps and how it works, then you can check out my another video. Link is available below in description. And from here, we can pass multiple values as well, just by adding comma like this. Okay. Now I think we are done with code changes. So now let's deploy these components and test this functionality. Deployment is complete. And now let's switch over another org that has been updated with summer 24 release. If you attempt to deploy this in non summer 24 org, then you might encounter an error saying URL addressable is not a valid target. Okay. So to use this feature, your org should be updated with summer 24 or latest version. Okay. Now you might be wondering how you can check your org release version or how to obtain a summer 24 org. So to check your org release version, there are many ways available, but the simplest way is just type speedtest.jsp after your domain name, like, like this. And now once you will hit enter, then a new page will open displaying your org release version. This org is my older one, which still has the spring 24 release. However, this newly created org has been updated to the summer 24 release. And if you also want to get summer 24 org, then just simply fill out this form and you will get a new org created just in couple of minutes. I'll paste this link in video description so you can take it from there. Okay. Now here on home page, I have already added that navigate from component. So let's refresh and test our functionality. Now once I'll click on this button, then we should redact on another LWC component. All right. Now we have been redacted on another LWC component. Since we haven't written anything in component HTML yet, so that's why we can't see anything here, but we have successfully redacted to that component, right? So this is how we can use navigation mixing service to redirect on another LWC component with the help of URL addressable target. Okay. And now let's see how to read and display that username value inside this target component. First, 
let me write code then we'll explain to you All right. So in order to read page configurations, first we need to import current page reference wire adapter from lightning navigation module. Then this is how we have to call it using wire decorator. Now in this current page reference property, we can access all the configurations that we have set up here, including type, attributes and state. Here our requirement was to read username value that we are passing in state object. So in this component to get username, we have created a getter property and this is how we are accessing username value. I mean, you know, this current page reference property contains all the page configurations, including state. So here we have written current page reference dot state dot C underscore underscore username. Okay. So this is how we can read value which we are passing from another component and now here in HTML file I have added basic HTML markup to show that username. I mean here I have added lightning card with this title under this lightning card. I have added this div with SLDS padding small class to add some padding and inside this div here we referred our getter property. Alright. Now we should see the username on UI. So let's deploy this component again and test it. Now here, let's enter hello and click on navigate to LWC. All right, now we can see hello here as well. This means now we can access value from origin component. Okay, so this is how we can navigate to another LWC component with data using navigation mixin if the component is URL addressable. All right. Now let me show you another way how to directly navigate to that component without using navigation mixin. Sometimes we may have requirement to generate a link to open a particular component or we can say we directly want to open that component by entering component details here in address bar. So earlier that was not possible but now that is easily possible with this feature and to open a URL addressable component directly first we have to write lightning then cmp then c underscore underscore component name and then after question mark we can pass parameters in the same way like namespace then underscore underscore then parameter name and then here we can pass parameter value okay so if you want to generate a link to open this navigate to component, then this is how we can build a URL. Now, if I'll paste this URL in the browser, then, then you can see our component has opened with this value. All right. Now let's see how to open a URL addressable component as a new tab in the console applications for demonstration purpose. I have added the same component here on account record page as well in sales console app and now upon clicking this button we will write code in such a way so in case of console app it will open a new tab instead of redirection first let me write code then we will explain it to you Okay, 
Here, first we have imported each console navigation wire adapter and open tape function from Lightning Platform API workspace module and call this is console navigation adapter using wire decorator. So now if we'll open this component inside console app, then we will get true in this is console navigation property and false in case of standard app. And here inside click handler method, we have added a condition to check whether it's console or standard app. Now these page details we have to pass into this navigation service and also into open tab method. So to avoid duplication, we have created a constant here and passed details at both places. Okay. In console app, if you want to open a new tab, then we can use this open tab method. And if you want to know more about this open tab method or about all the available methods inside platform workspace API, then you can check out my another video. Link is available in description below. Okay. So this is how. We can write code to open a URL addressable LWC component as a new tab. Now let's deploy and test it. Let's enter demo here and click on navigate to LWC button. All right. Now here we can see a new tab with our LWC component. It means our functionality is working fine. That's all in this video. I hope this video helped you to learn something new. If yes, then please help me too by liking and subscribing to this YouTube channel. For you, it's completely free, but it will help me a lot. And also don't forget to share your feedback in comments. That will really give me motivation to create more such kind of videos for you. Additionally, please follow the Forcefellow LinkedIn page. Once again, thank you so much. We'll see you in next video.